Well, is the internet starting to ruin weddings? It's a question you probably wouldn't have even asked a couple of decades ago. But what is the role of tech in weddings today? According to a new article in the Wall Street Journal, the chance of a tech-related wedding faux pas has never been higher. And sure, we know not to wear wide, but what are you allowed to post online? Are we reigning on brides parades? Let's turn to our panel now. Joining us is Bella Gandhi, the founder of Smart Dating Academy, and Dr. John Duffy, a psychologist and author. All right, so Bella, I'm gonna start with you with the weddings. What do you think in terms of people are paying so much money for these professional photos, and then you may have some guests who are taking their own pictures and then posting them? Is that good or bad? It can be both, depending on the bride, the groom, and the wedding. I was recently at a wedding, took a photo just of my husband and me, posted it. The night before the wedding, the bride and the groom saw it and sent a message to everybody saying, please refrain from posting any photos of this wedding, period. So there was a poll, and it shows that about half of weddings now are going phoneless. I think for this reason, it, I would assume, I'm not certain of that. But John, why do you think that is? Because I think a lot of couples, and I've worked with a few of them, want to control the narrative as best they can in a digital age. And so in order for a friend or a relative who doesn't know about the wedding or wasn't invited to not see it on social media, I think they want to have some control over not hurting feelings, um, not crossing some line that they can't even anticipate before the wedding takes place. I think that's really interesting about the guest list. I hadn't thought of that one. Uh, so, Bella, what do you think? Is this a generational divide? Do you think that there are some offenders, maybe people posting who they don't think this is a bad thing, but to somebody who's been planning the wedding and going over the, you know, plans, very details for weeks and months, it could be harmful. Yeah, I think typically, you know, younger kids now seem to be more emotionally centered around asking, do you mind if we post or not? And asking the questions, whereas Gen X, like us, might be like, oh, I'm just going to take my photos and get in the way of the photographer. Like, oh, aren't you excited that I'm posting about your wedding? So, and, you know, younger kids are now getting flip phones to get away from the toxicity of social media following them everywhere they go. Yes. Well, what's your response, John? Well, I, I agree with that, but um, you know, we also have to be careful um, not to cross the lines of anybody's comfort zone. That, that, that's my biggest concern with this whole issue I knew is it. Um, that I want the people who are up on the altar and the people who are in the congregation and the people who are at the, that uh, post-wedding ceremony, the whole thing, I want them to be comfortable, I want them to be happy, and I worry that if we open this up too much, we're gonna have hurt feelings and problems. Yeah, just be clear. I think when you're the bride and the groom, what your policies are. I think most people very much do not want to offend the people whose and weddings they're the attending. I don't think it's the intention there. 100%. I think sometimes we've got so many things to think about when we're the bride and the groom that we don't think about, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do with social media until it happens? And then they're like, ah, stop. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.